Frank Kane joins me to continue with his commentary this evening. We're looking forward to seeing these best of breed winners. Very stylish. And here's the Coton de Tulia. And now the Quezon. And the little Bolognese. The miniature pincher. I, I think when you come to Croft, you don't really expect anything. It's all a big bonus, whatever happens. And here's the butterfly dog, the Papillon. The Norwegian elk hound. And the Japanese spitz. If I win, I'd be absolutely shocked. It, it usually never happens to a Japanese spitz. So it, it would be a far through the... Smart as paint, the Westie. And the giant Commodore. And yet another from Ireland, it's the Kerry Blue. Whatever happens, happens. You can't do anything about it. today I think a lot of cheering and you know on the ring side there's been lots of applause and everything you really feel that the people are cheering for you and there's a really nice atmosphere everywhere and look at that divine smile coming towards you that's a super super little Bolognese I'm feeling so happy because um, I'm my mother let me go in the don't cry <laughs> in the in the ring, in the, in the arena, so... And this little person's won 55 challenge certificates abroad, so quite some winner. And of course, very popular in France. Oh, you, you, you can't imagine coming over here and winning the group. It's just fun to come. It's, it's unbelievable to win Best of Breed, but to win the group would be over the moon. You couldn't imagine. And look at those ears being used, the little butterfly dog. It's just nice to be here and, and to have got as far as I have done. It's, a, it's an honour to be in the group ring at Crafts, so won't be too disappointed. I like the look of this. This is very nice. Shades of grey. Shades of grey indeed. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I won't even think about that, I think, until I get in there. <laughs> the Norwegian elk hound. Her Oscar's a natural show dog, so if a, if a common door can do it, she can do it. And I'm in my lucky chair, my birthday, so number 19 is a bit of an omen. And uh, if, you, if, you, if they have a bath, then it takes several days for them to dry out. So it's a, a devotion and a way of life, I think, if you keep this breed. My level of expectation is I, I don't really have one, to be perfectly honest, because anything can happen in there. Uh, it's anybody's guess. They're all beautiful dogs, taken from each terrier breed, and anyone can win it. This is one of the most popular breeds to have as a family pet, but again, their coat needs a, you need a lot of work to keep them looking like this. So as Gerald Morris takes that final look, just reminding himself of what he liked in the group, and now He'll make his cut. And who is she going to pull out for her selection? There he is. And then who is he going to choose for I his... wonder what he's going to pick. Out comes the Australian Silky Terrier and the Bichon Frise. The Chinese Crested comes out next. And the Yorkshire Terrier. That's a very strong lineup. Forward, the flat coated retriever and the golden retriever, which went very well indeed. Killerly. The Bulldog and the Eurasia. I told you that had gone very well. Spitz type. The, the miniature and Brilliant. the standard poodle. Lovely. There's, there's, there's the Kazon coming in. Uh, yes. If you're, um, if you're successful in the main arena later on, how do you think you're going to react? <laughs> oh, I don't really know. <laughs> oh, I should be, well, over the moon. Absolutely over the moon, yeah. It'd be wonderful. So here's the moment of choice, the moment of truth. Lovely lineup. I, I think um, you, you there's Stan the Poodle, not messing about. And in second place, Dave Killerly with the Akita oh, Red Witch Will I Am. The Kazon, another one, which gave a very good performance and a lovely example of the breed. I never expected to do as well as I have done. It was a great surprise. And the Kazon taking. Group three there.